are you all doing today? I'm Isaac Travis and you're watching IT Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sharpen your chainsaw. I'm going to be showing you my technique of how I like to sharpen my chainsaws. And this is going to be pretty fun, pretty simple. It's not that complicated. It's a pretty easy thing to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So let's get to it. Okay, this is the saw we are going to be sharpening today. This is my MS-271 steel. It is a farm boss. This is one of my favorite saws. I use this thing like crazy. I've gone through tons of different chainsaws at this point. I have used Husqvarna, Poland. Uh, I mean, you can name it. I've used so many different saws, even Eager Beaver. I mean, I've gone through a lot of saws. Still is the absolute best chainsaw you can buy. All the other chainsaws I have used are absolute garbage. They have burned up, broke, they don't have the power the steel's got. The steel typically starts in two poles almost every time. So they are such great saws. I have seen these saws absolute not taken care of. They People have not taken care of these saws. Left it out in the rain, snow, froze, well, you can name it. And you go out there and the thing still starts. These saws are amazing. And this video is not sponsored by Still, but I do love these chainsaws. I highly recommend them. So after all that, let's get to sharpening this saw. First thing you are going to want to do is find the extra link in your chain. Mine is right here, as you see. So I still have the paint on my extra link. Sometimes this gets weared off pretty quickly. So you typically got to find an extra link or you can get a Sharpie or something and just write on any, color it on any one of your links so you can find where you start and where you end. Because you don't want to be sharpening the saw like 10 times in a row, just keep going around in a circle. That is not fun. So make sure you always mark a link so you know where you start. So we're not really going to be sharpening this part of the chain. This part of the chain it's going to get sharpened, but you're not going to try to sharpen this part of the chain. You're going to try to sharpen underneath here, this part of the chain, the top. I don't know if you can tell, but this part is where you want to sharpen underneath here, not down in here. This is going to get sharpened just by you trying to sharpen up here. So, another thing. When you're sharpening, you're going to kind of push up just a little bit up because you're trying to sharpen the top because this up here is what's gonna cut into the wood. Down in here, it doesn't really touch the wood because of this thing. So you wanna sharpen up here. So when you take your file, you wanna push. You sharpen like that. Push and you even lift off. You don't wanna pull back on your file because it will ruin your file. It will knock down all the little sharp teeth on your file and it'll make it completely smooth so then you'll just be going around with your file doing absolutely nothing because you have no teeth on your file so you want to make sure to take your file and push and sharpen that tooth and I like to push against the tooth like that like I'm doing so up on the top and just kind of take your time now once when you get good at this you can go quite fast that's just kind of what you want to do just like that and after you go all the way around the saw, you're gonna flip over to the other tooth. You're gonna flip the saw over, come to the other side. Now, let's see, now I'm facing this way for this tooth. So let me sharpen this saw and we'll see how it goes.
after cut. This is before we sharpen it. Okay, I got it all sharpened, and when you are sharpening it, make sure that you keep the same angle as your teeth. Make sure that you keep that angle, not go straight in. Make sure you get a nice angle on it, and keep that angle with all the teeth, and it will be nice and sharp. Let's see how sharp this thing is. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that helps you out. And if it does, uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out if you do all those things. And I do have a lot of cool projects going on. I am a chainsaw artist. I do a lot of cool different carvings with that. Me and my family are building grain bin tiny homes. We are building tiny homes out of grain bins. We are going to make like a little resort here on our property and we are going to rent those out, Airbnb. And we got a lot of cool stuff going on, so make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next one.